a story. It's about a little boy. His parents were negligent, and because of this, he spent a lot of time by himself and was often lonely. One day, he decided to make up an imaginary friend. He named him Fitzgerald. The little boy and his imaginary friend played many games together and went on amazing journeys. And the boy wasn't lonely anymore.
Someone broke into my room last night. Well, did you give the key to anybody else? No, you told me the lock was broken. It is. I see you painted. I really like what you've done with the place. No, that wasn't me. That was the guy who broke in. He painted all this. Well, we have had a rat problem lately. You know, you really need to fix that window over there. Wait, rats can get in. Wait, wait, wait. Rats? Rats painted all this? Have you ever heard of the Olympics? Some people can do some really amazing things. Rats aren't people! I guess you're right. The rats could have come in through the plumbing. You know, we've had some problems with the plumbing lately. You can't just dump anything on it. It's not a big truck. It's a series of tubes. Wait, what? What plumbing? Oh, the gas station about a quarter mile down the road. We get a ten cent discount on the coffee there. Want to go get some coffee? The little boy started growing up, and soon he was going to school. He started making friends with all the other kids, and spent less and less time with his imaginary friend. Whenever Fitzgerald wanted to play, the boy was always doing things with his real friends. I made you Mexico's favorite breakfast. Ah! 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 Hey, some tortilla crisp! What are you doing here? Part of this complete desayuno! See, the complex is like a tree. All the birds in their nests are chirping away, making such a ruckus. It's keeping the owls and the raccoons up all hours. Meanwhile, you got the bees in their hive just a buzz, buzz, buzzing away. They're keeping to themselves, all nice and quiet like. You don't want to be a bird who's a-chirping away. You want to be a bee who's all nice and quiet, just a-buzzing. Do we have an understanding? So you want me to be a bee? Yes.
Hey, you remember how I made your breakfast this morning? I was thinking, you, you probably shouldn't finish that book. Just, just put it down, you know. You, you, Wait, it's what? It's not something you need to... What, a, what about the breakfast? Well, you know, I was, I was making those uh, tortilla crisps and... Um, I, yeah, I, I kind of saw it laying I, there and I just... Yeah. You read my book? Well, you're just sleeping there like a little newborn baby. And I didn't ask you, you didn't say no, so I just picked it up and kind of looked through it a little bit and I really think you should just stop. Well, why are you saying that? Well, I can't tell you. Just don't finish the book. Fitzgerald had been left alone for years. The boy, now grown up, had long forgotten about him. Fitzgerald had become increasingly bitter and resentful towards the boy. He felt abandoned and betrayed. He considered himself to be the boy's only true friend. But all Fitzgerald wanted was for the young man to remember him. I think you've met him on paper. Wait, uh, part of your operation? Hey, he's a bank robber? Yes. Don't you know that all the bank robbers get the ladies? Haven't you ever heard of Bonnie and Clyde? Oh, wait, what, what ladies? Are there ladies in this building? No. Okay, so here's the plan. You got a car, right? No, I don't. Right, we're going to need to find a car. I don't know if we can do that. Okay, we're going to Third National Bank, right? It's on Fifth Street, you know what's that? I thought that was on Ninth Street. No, it's on Fifth Street. Yeah, it's on Fifth Street. True. Is everything all right? You haven't gotten your mail lately. I haven't really seen you around. What do you mean? I just saw you earlier. What, are you crazy? I haven't seen you since I moved you in. Rent's due at the end of the month. Have a nice day. What are you doing still writing that? Thought I told you to stop. I told you not to. on you, but you just gotta keep running away from everything. Writing. You call that writing? I'm writing and wasting your time. Running away 